Hey, construction companies, do you ever feel like you're overpaying for your business insurance? Well, today I wanna to share with you one tip that could save you thousands of dollars. The tip is pretty simple. Make sure that you are classified correctly. I see this quite a bit. Last year I met with a site work contractor and they told me they only do grading of land. Well, I looked at their policy and it was all coded to excavation, which is, which is an exponentially higher class code. Now the definitions can be very similar um, so you really need to lean on your agent, the underwriter, have a good conversation about what you really do. Well, anyways, after talking with this contractor in depth, they were adamant, no, we do grading, we don't do excavating. Um, so verified that, put in the quote, save them like $50,000 by just getting them coded correctly. I see the same thing on water and sewer and various other lines of uh, construction. So here's three things that you can do to make sure you're classified correctly. First is pull out your general liability page and look through it. It should have a, a declaration page in that it shows all your uh, exposures, payroll sales, and, and the class code that they are being assigned to with a description, a number and a description. You know, have your current agent verify that, look through it. If you see something that doesn't sound right, call your agent, call a different agent and say, hey, this is not correct. We need to get this fixed. Okay, the second thing that you should be doing is keeping very good, accurate, uh, detailed records. If an auditor comes on out there, even if you're classified all in grading, which is lo a less code, right? Less expensive code. The auditor comes out there, they learn you're doing excavation work. If they don't see any difference in, in records or accurate records kept, they're good. there's a good possibility they might take all that exposure and put it in the higher class code. So you need to really keep good records so that the auditor um, doesn't you know, miss audit your policy, or if they do, you have something to go back on and, and fight them against, right? Say, no, 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 these are the records, you, you're mistaken. Okay, and the third thing or tip is to make sure when you are submitting the applications for new business to get quotes from other underwriters, they're done accurately and the percentage and the breakdown are done accurately because you might turn off an underwriter if you say you do, uh, you know, you do, uh, they think you do all excavation, but you're really doing all grading. Right? That underwriter might say, nah, we really we want to stay away from excavations right now, excavators right now. We want to stick to grading only. So you don't want to limit your options or your interest from underwriters. So those are my three tips to make sure that you are classified correctly. This could save you thousands of dollars. Talk with your agent, talk with somebody, just make sure you're classified correctly. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up, and I appreciate you watching.